Assemble! This is TNN Tiger News Network. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Gio. And I'm Ayla. And here are your Monday announcements. Today is Earth Day, where 1 billion people in 192 countries participate in this global event. What are your thoughts on Earth Day, Ayla? I think that we should definitely celebrate Earth Day. It is very important. The leader's theme is protect our species. We must protect endangered and threatened plants and animals like bees, whales, giraffes, elephants, coral reefs, and more. The number of land animals has fallen by 40% since 1970. Marine animals is the same. Insect population has declined 75% in some countries. 75% of the world's coral reefs are at risk from local and global stress. So today and every day, embrace nature and its values. Enjoying the sunshine, enjoying whatever weather Mother Nature has given us that day. If the weather is nice, you could ride your bike or you could walk. Bring our lunch, bring in, in Tupperware containers. Help pick up the trash oh, yeah, from the tables even though it's not yours. We do most of our classes outside, like we can do LA outside and read. And then um, take all the trash. Make sure we recycle as much as we can every single day. Planting or like maybe like not littering like so much. Everyone should have a tortoise. Wave to squirrels and birds and chipmunks, anything that uh, passes our way. Giving a tree an old, good old hug. Go Earth! There's only one of it, so treat it nice. Fifth graders are visiting tomorrow from 9 to 11. Keep them away from bright light, don't get water on them, never feed them after, sorry. Those are rules for gremlins. That's a TNN joke. We look forward to their visit. There's a dance concert tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. You don't want to miss those cats with balloon lungs. They got chops. The Mundelein Police Department and Mundelein After School Coalition will honor Lake County veterans on Friday night. They will serve a multi-course meal to veterans from 6 to 9 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. Tina thanks all hardworking organizers and participants for this great event. Most important, thank you veterans for serving our country. The third annual Mundance Film Festival is coming in May. District 75 wants creative and talented student filmmakers to participate. Submit your original films by Tuesday, April 30th. See Mr. Canner in room 104 for more information. Teacher Trivia We turn to meteorologist Daniela. Thanks, Ian Giovanni. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Daniela, and here's your three day forecast. On Monday, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 67 and a low of 50. On Tuesday, it's going to rain and it's going to be a high of 61 and a low of 46. On Wednesday, it's going to be cloudy again and we're going to get a high of 58 and a low of 43. That's your three day forecast. Back to you, Ian Giovanni. Thanks, Daniela. Now we go to Zane with sports. Thanks, Ian Giovanni. Hello, Tigers. I'm Zane, and here's your TNN sporting news. On Tuesday, the U.S. team is going to have a cricket match against Papua New Guinea. The last time they played in was in 2015 and the U.S. won. The U.S. dominates them. I predict the U.S. will win. Back to you, Ellen Giovanni. Thanks, Zane. Now for our weekly segment, Tigers to Know. Tigers to Know. My name is Marissa and I'm here with Mr. Cantor and today I'm going to ask about questions about the Mundance. Uh, Mundance Film Festival is a uh, festival for kindergarten through 8th grade students to make movies, um, they get to walk the red carpet, uh, limo will take them from this school to the high school, they have a premiere, um, and their films are judged and there are prizes like gift cards and trophies. And it's a pretty good time, so it's uh, sort of like a film festival you would see at Sundance, but in a local level. I think last year and the year before we had Tony Cannoli and um, maybe chips, so I think so, but I don't want to promise there will be food. I am excited. I hope a lot of students participate and submit films, and I'm excited to see what ideas they come up with. Uh, 
about Minecraft, because I've heard of that a little more, and I've seen Minecraft and played it a little. Football or soccer? Football. I go football. Um, left or right? Left. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down left. Good old lefty. Okay. Glasses or contacts? Glasses. I don't see why people poke their eyes with contacts. Snickers or Milky Way? Snickers. I enjoy everything the Snickers has to offer. Okay, alright. Um, up or down? Always up. Looking up. I, I right. go up. Yeah. Mm. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Phantom Forces or Arsenal? Phantom Forces because of the word phantom in it. Okay. Um, CSMS or McDonald's? <laughs> Uh, McDonald's. Reverse ambush, ambush, reverse ambush. Uh, McDonald's or Burger King? I'd say McDonald's because I've always been there. So, like, I, ha I actually haven't been to Burger King like, in a while. So, like, bedroom or bathroom? Bedroom. Because. Of course, it's a bed, so like, just, you can't really see it. You can't really see it. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Um, cat or dog? Um, I prefer cats. Apple juice or orange juice? Apple juice. Wow! Thanks for that, Marissa. So, on behalf of everyone here at TNN, we hope you grow some dendrites and live the code. Happy Earth Day! Sounds so different on TNN. Just watch. <laughs> and here you're gonna. Today's is. Take them away after. <laughs> and Monday. 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 They will serve a multi cursed meal. Curse. <laughs> and now for a fount. I. I.